Welcome to Model World. And this is the story of building SB2. Now for those of you that don't know, SB1 was a submersible um, sold by Thunder Tiger. Except they stopped selling and making parts, I don't know, about six years ago. Now because I owned a couple, I thought what I'd do whenever the parts came up available on the internet, I'd buy them. And so if something went wrong to the submarine, I could repair it. So in the end, I've got bits pinned up everywhere in the workshop. As you can see with the pictures I'm showing you here. They seem to be everywhere. So I had the idea to put all the bits together to see if I can build a new one. So at this point, the trouble started. I slowly began to realize how many bits and pieces I hadn't got to complete the build and how many bits I'd have to alter or buy new bits. One of the problems I had right from the start, I had a, a Thunder Tiger roll pump but it needed a long shaft, 3 mil to power it. And could I find an electric motor with the shaft long enough to go right the way through the roll pump to do this action? So I had to buy another roll pump. And finally, I managed to find a roll pump that looked like it might do the job. It seemed to be about the right kind of capacity but of course it didn't fit, so I had to start cutting to make it fit. The next problem was the plastic tube, which forms the uh, pressure hull of the submarine. I could get a piece cut to the exact length, but could I find a piece the right diameter? The nearest I got in the end was one which was about two millimeters too big, but it had to do. Next problem, plastic end caps. So I bought some plastic sheet, uh, took one of the end caps off the submarine I already had, marked it out, drilled it and ha, I had the end caps. Next problem, drive motor. Couldn't lay my hands on an original. So I find a motor looked of suitable size and power. Uh, I hadn't got the coupling that uh, Thunder Tiger used. So drilled the sheet, put the shaft of the motor through and with a bit of silicon, siliconed it in place. We will know at a future date whether or not it stays watertight or not. Next problem, ballast weights. Um, couldn't get them from Thunder Tiger, uh, made my own, bit of aluminium tube, poured in some uh, lead, I put them in the bandsaw and cut them into sections. Uh, whether I've got enough, again, I won't know until I come to do the water test. Now it was time to start to do the build. I was lucky enough um, a few years ago to manage to obtain the outer shells of this submersible. So that's one part I didn't want to try and build myself. So I had to start putting the bits together and finding out what I had to make to complete the build. In the early part of the build, I tried using plastic um, tube spacer sections. But later date, I found that the plastic tube started to fracture. So I had to go back to aluminium in the end. As I mentioned earlier, um, the pressure tube which I managed to obtain was one or two mils uh, too wide. So you'll see the yellow tape. I had to pack up the um, end sections to make up the difference. I managed to get uh, a solenoid uh, control for the uh, water pump um, from Mr. RC on the internet. And so that 
took care of another piece of electronics. And as you will now see from this uh, section of pictures, I'm starting to put the whole lot together uh, to get some metal tube, uh, metal rod spending and making the right shape and getting it all to fit where I've had to cut and alter from the original spec, uh, connecting up the water pump. Um, lots of little things I'm doing now I won't be able to test until I put the thing into some water. And of course there's one thing you won't be able to appreciate watching these pictures is how long it took to cut and fettle and alter to build this thing. Getting bits and pieces, buying nuts and bolts and bits of threaded rod. I mean, I spent a lot of time trying to put this thing together. Found a prop, found odds and ends, bits that didn't quite fit, had to be cut back. Um, and so the workshop, as you can see, I have other SPs, but it finally got there. Week after week of fiddling, uh, getting annoyed. <laughs> And now we have, finally, SB2. And there she is. Neptune SB2. Ready for its water trials. <laughs>